Hello, favorite students. We are continuing with conservation of energy, solving problems with LOL terms. So we're on page 173 of your workbook. We're working on problem 38. It involves a skateboarder that is pressed up against a spring. We release it, it goes up a ramp, and it goes up to a certain height H. I've given you a couple of givens that are not in the book. We're gonna say that X the amount that we press the spring is 2.5 meters. We're going to say that the mass of the skateboarder is 150 kilograms. And we're going to say that at the highest point, here at point B, it flies to 8 meters high above the ground. So we've got point A here where it's pressing the spring, point B here where it reaches the highest point up in the air. On our LOL chart, I've got point A and point B. I've described my system as the skater, the earth, and the spring. So at point A, here, our snapshot in time, we're not moving, it has no velocity, so there is zero kinetic energy. We're not lifted above the ground, we have no height, we're here at the ground. So we've got no gravitational potential. But we are pressing that spring, that skateboarder is pressing that spring, so we do have spring potential energy. I drew in four bars here as my estimate. At the end, here at the highest point, it's going to go up the ramp, fly in the air, and it's going to stop at its highest point, which means we again have zero kinetic energy. At that point, we will be lifted above the ground, so we're above that origin point. We do have gravitational potential. And we're not pressing the spring anymore. We've let go of the spring, so we've got no spring potential. So my LOL chart shows four bars of spring potential at the beginning and four bars of gravitational potential at the end. I'm going to start next with my equation. The mechanical energy or the total energy before plus any work that happens in the middle equals the mechanical energy or the total energy at the end. Mechanical energy is kinetic plus gravitational potential plus spring potential plus the work equals kinetic plus gravitational plus spring at the end. Now we put in our values. Kinetic at the beginning is zero. Gravitational at the beginning is zero. Spring potential is not zero. So we put in the equation for spring potential, 1 half kx squared. Work is zero. There's no outside forces. There's no push. There's no friction. There's no outside work happening. Here at the end, kinetic energy is zero. Gravitational is not zero. So we put in the equation for gravitational potential energy, m times g times h and spring potential is zero. So if we simplify that, we have 1 half kx squared, or the spring potential, equals mgh, the gravitational potential at the end. From here, all I need to do is plug in my givens. So 1 half k times 2.5 squared gives me 3.125 k. Over here, 150 times 10 times 8 gives me 12,000, and when I solve for K, that gives me 3,840 newtons per meter as the, as the spring constant.